to the sixth episode of Media Bird's Eye. I'm your host, Emmy Fetzer, and today we're going to be talking about our childhood stars and where they are today. Mostly the successful ones because I'm not going to get canceled, okay? All right, let's start off with the one that has really succeeded after her career in Disney and is a now well-known famous Hollywood star, my girl, Jenna Ortega. Okay, who doesn't know her? Like, you're lying to yourself if you don't know her. We know her from Stuck in the Middle, but after that, she started going into a different genre, horror, starring in a new popular show, Wednesday, which really hit, a, hit off. And for the second season, she will now be a producer and will make the show more of a horror aspect instead of romance, which I do like because it's going along with the original Adams Family. And then she um, starred in more movies, like the fifth and sixth screen movies as Tara, and then a movie called X, getting an iconic label as the Scream Queen from it. And then we have Milo Mayhem, the golden boy of TikTok, edits and Disney movies. We don't really know him from anything else. Sorry, Milo. But that's okay. Um, he's, he's relatively new, okay? And there's something that I want him to be in, okay? Let, let's see if you agree. Flynn Rider, Entangled. Do you agree? Yes, you do! That's so silly because I do also. <sighs> Whatever. And he's also in Thanksgiving, which is a horror um, movie. So that's kind of different from Disney. It is different from Disney. Um, he is in Prom Pack, School Spirit, which is also different, and Journey to Bethlehem, which definitely looks interesting. Yeah. And then we have Peyton Liss. We have an iconic blondie that goes as Emma and Jesse, and then later went into a show called Bunt, which all the people from Jesse went on. She's now in, a co in Cobra Kai and School Spirit. Um, then we have the most successful woman that branched out after Disney. We know her as Bridget Mendler. We know her from her role as Teddy and Good Luck Charlie in Lemonade Mouth. And now she is, well, okay, let me prepare myself because this is some pretty big, pre pretty big words and that's, yeah, saying something. Uh, she's a CEO and co-founder of Northwood Space. And she is, has a PhD focused in technology and a Juris Doctor degree from Harvard's Law. What? What? Um, then we have Jace Norman. Oh my god, here's my childhood, guys. We know him from his role as Henry Hart in Henry Danger and other movies like Splitting Adam. Um, Blurt and Rules 1 and 2. He's filming for his new movie, Henry Danger, and we don't know much about it yet. I wonder what this movie will be about. Hmm. Then we have Bradley Stephen Perry. Oh! <laughs> Bradley Stephen Perry, mostly known for his role as Gabe in Good Luck Charlie and as Kate in Mighty Men and Lab Rats in a movie he did called Pants on Fire. He hasn't done much lately with his acting career, but he has recently done a like podcast cooking show and it's on like Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. And um, one of the things that he did was with um, another co-star from Mighty Med, Jack Short. So yeah, check it out. And then we have my girl, Ariana Greenblatt, mostly known for her role in Stuck in the Middle. Now she's in movies like Avengers and Friendly to War as Young Gamora, Love and Monsters, which had Dylan O'Brien in it, and most recently in Barbie. And it will be in an upcoming film called um, Borderlands with Kevin Hart, an actor she has dreamed of working with. So how she's able to like <laughs> be able to do this so young, that's crazy because I'm literally talking about it. What am I doing? 
whatever. Then we have Dove Cameron. She's known for her role as Liv and Maddie in the Disney show Liv and Maddie. Um, I think I was like depressed for like a whole week when I found that out. So thank you, thank you, Dove Cameron. Ah, and then she went on to star in the Descendants trilogy along with Cloud Nine and Monsterville. And she is a music artist now, mostly known for her song Boyfriend. But will that be the only hit song? Hmm. And she has more coming though, so be prepared for that. We'll see. And then we have Sabrina Carpenter, known for her role as Maya in Girls Meets World, and she played Jenny in Adventures in Babysitting. She's been in things like Tar Girl 1 and 2, along with work and the movie Cloud as Sammy. Oh my god, another movie I like severely cried to for like a whole week. Um, she is known for performing in concerts now with songs like Feather and Because I Like the Boy. Hey, I could get an Oscar for that, right? Oh, actually the Grammy, whatever. Same, same deaf, right? Oh, and she also performed with Taylor Swift, which, how do you bag that? I don't know, that's crazy, okay? And then we have Sophia Carson mostly known for her roles in films like Feel the Beat, Adventures in Babysitting, Songbird, and the trilogy that every Disney kid loves, Descendants. Same with them. More recently, she has starred in the movie Purple Hearts as Cassie. Oh my god. Be prepared for a second one, guys. That one's so good, okay? And then we have Miley Cyrus. We know her as Hannah Montana from the movies of Hannah Montana. She also um, started her singing career. Um, I came in like a wrecking ball. Yes, she did. Iconic songs like that. I mean, where is she now? Um, well, she is getting more and more known for her music, especially the song Flowers. And then we have the Sprouse um, siblings, okay? Cole and Dylan from The Sweet Life of Cody later on continuing their careers in the film industry, but one of them hit a little more off, okay? Anyways, Cole Sprouse then hit his career with Riverdale, five feet apart, and has recently been in a movie called Lisa Frankenstein as the creature, which that movie was definitely different. Um, then we have Dylan Sprouse. He was in After Two and Five, Dismissed, and has been recently been in a movie called Beautiful Disaster and Beautiful Wedding. Then we have the icon herself, Zendaya. You know her from Casey Undercover, Zap, and Shake It Up. Zendaya, she's now in hit blockbusters, Euphoria, Doom Part One and Two, all the Tom Holland Spider Man movies, Great Showman. Wait, The Greatest Showman, and is going to be in a tennis movie, which seems very interesting. Seems like Tom might um, have a little tiffy with them, though. Okay, guys. Well, that's everything I have for you. I'm your host, Emmy Fetzer, signing off.